You have decided to upgrade yourself from a spreadsheet or Evernote or OneNote to something more powerful like FileMaker. You've made a good choice. But now you need to understand relationships. Well, stick around, and in this video, I'll give you some relationship advice. Or at least, I'll, under I'll describe relationships in databases and how to add relationships in FileMaker. Relationships are the most powerful tool that you have in the FileMaker database. They are heavily optimised. You can display a subset of billions of records in a fraction of a second with no perceivable lag in your application. So you're probably wanting to link, say, jobs to customers or students to a classroom or people to a sports club or something like that. So let's start with the example of jobs to customers. So let's use this relationship to display a subset of information. So in this case, we'll show all of the jobs for customer Bob and we'll use this relationship to display things like the total owing for customer Bob. First thing that you want to do is create a customer table with all of the information that you want to hold for that customer, like the name, address, phone number, just like that. Just put as much in there as you can. And then, and then also add a field called a customer ID. So I'll do that now. So there is my customer table there. With the customer ID, unique field, it could have a, a unique serial number like 1334, or it could be uh, some other unique value, uh, a name, address, and a phone number. Now let's create a jobs table. And in the jobs table, we'll put all of the information we want for a job in there. So the description, perhaps the address that you're at, whatever sort of job you're doing. Uh, and we'll also have a unique jobs ID, but to make this relationship customers to jobs work, we'll also put in the field there, customer ID. I'll do that now. So there is my jobs table, job ID, customer ID, description of the job. Now to make this relationship work, we link the customer ID from the customer table to the customer ID in the jobs table. And doing that in FileMaker is just as, just as simple. You go to the FileMaker database manager and you just grab customer ID, customer ID, and your relationship's done. And now what we want to do, whenever we create a job in the jobs table, is we want to put that same customer ID that we have in the customer ID table to link them together. To add a job for customer Bob, we'd use Bob's customer ID and put it in there. Let's just say we use the customer ID Bob for Bob, which probably isn't a good idea because we might have two Bobs in the customer table and that needs to be unique, so that wouldn't work. But for this example, let's just say we use Bob. And so if we had one customer ID entry with the name Bob, and we had five jobs with the customer ID Bob, then we'd see all of the Bob jobs whenever we're looking at the customer. And we can use the portal. So if you put a portal on your layout, then you can display all of Bob's jobs right on the customer layout. And you can use it in calculations. You can do a sum of that relationship to view the total of all total uh, jobs. This pattern here is all that you need to know to create a powerful database. But for extra marks, I want to expose this relationship to include more than just the immediate family. So let's create an invoices table and link that together. Just like before, we'll have an invoice ID, but let's not link the invoices to the customer. Let's link the invoices to the job. Here is my invoice table. I've got an invoice ID, which is a unique ID as well. And I've got the job ID, which is the same job ID from here. So say for Bob, I've got job ID uh, 5. I might have two invoices with job ID 5. I might have cancelled an invoice and re-raised another invoice for that job. And then I've got some descriptive things like the date sent, the tax, and the total. Here is where the extended relationship gets interesting. You can now follow the relationship from your customer's table through to the invoices table and display invoice information on your customer table. So you could have an invoice portal on your customer table showing all of the invoices that were raised for your customer, Bob. You can also summarize the total owing uh, or the total total uh, to view some uh, interesting information about customer Bob in your custom table. So now that you know this, you can go in and fix all your relationships and have no more troubles. Well, at least you can build a very efficient FileMaker application and automate your administration and go further after that and do cool things with FileMaker like put it on your iPad or iOS device with FileMaker Go or put it on the web with FileMaker WebDirect. I hope you've enjoyed this as fast as possible video. If you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it and leave a comment in the comments below and watch other FileMaker as fast as possible videos to get more ideas for your application. Thanks.